sure. I don't care what the situation is. Maybe you'll see yourself come in to or whatever that you don't like. Then you, then what you really want to be, guys. Maybe you see your nose as a little crooked. <laughs> or you see the frowns in your face. I don't like it. And I see these lines coming in my face. Guys, embrace your beauty. And maybe you were just like, you have been dealing with overweight for so long. But guess what? You can start a process of, of changing that if you change your diet from all those unhealthy foods and start eating a more healthier plant-based diet and get off some, get off those meats. I'm not going to say some. You need to get off of them. Get off those meats. Or then also you could have these skin blemishes. These freckles that you don't like. These big boys on your face or your nose or whatever and you just don't like on these moles. I mean, there's things that we just don't like. Or maybe these big ears that you may not like. Guys, whatever it might be, we call them our flaws. We call them our imperfections. We call them our mistakes. We call them whatever negative, but it's who you are. It's your beauty. And you got to see it. Beauty. You got to see it as being your beautiful, authentic self, or you continue to see all those things because God didn't make any mistakes. He didn't create imperfections. He didn't create flaws. He created us again, I'm going to say it, in his likeness, and he created us in his image. And guys, I'm telling you, there is nothing imperfect about this beautiful creator of the universe. His creation is all perfect. So whatever that we may not like, guys, we got to learn to change it. And then we must, our focus must become on the things that we do like. And it must become on the things that we do have. Because we focus on the things that we don't like. And that the things that we don't have, we put ourselves in that place of lack. And that is what we will become. Okay. That kind of focus, guys, starts to show up in all areas of our life, spreading like a virus, and then we attract more experiences and thoughts that we don't like. The energy of these negative thoughts, guys, becomes stagnant like a swamp in our bodies, building up to manifest into a disease or some kind of anxiety or in some state of depression yes our thoughts guys can and they are making us sick you are not our thoughts i'm keep saying it guys insecurity is born out of a lack of love and appreciation for your body the same incredible body that keeps your heart pumping 2,000 gallons, gallons of blood per day. That body loves you that way. That same body with your lungs taking over 23,000 breaths per day to keep you breathing. That body loves you. Guys, that brain sending millions of electrical signals for everything to function properly because that body loves you. That's the creator's gift to you. That's the creator's special gift that he has given each one of us to keep us healthy, whole, wholesome, healed, and complete, and loving our perfect divine authentic self that body loves you that body that constantly fighting all sorts of crazy bacterial and all these invasive germs that wars against our body day in day out all the time that body's fighting to keep us healthy it's warring against those bacteria. It's warring against those germs. It's warring against all those things to keep us in that unhealthy state of being. Everybody loves you because it's fighting for us. 
And yes, your incredible body is doing all of this. Not just for me. I, I realized that and I know that. You know, with my study now, with my holistic health and nutrition classes, I'm learning more about this every day. The Creator has given us a special gift, our body. He's doing it for you too, guys. Your body does all of this for you without you even having to think about it. So to say thank you, thank you, body. Thank you, creator of the universe. Thank you, because you know what I need. You know what my body needs. You know what I need to maintain my health and my wholesomeness. And if I continue to listen to the divine creator and I can listen to what the creator tells me to do, because I create everything out in nature for your good, the, trend, the plants, the trees, the leaves, the seeds, the berries, and everything out there is for my health. Healing is in the leaves. It's for us. Say thank you for all those wonderful things that we ex exalt our own bodies with by all this poisonous of our negative thoughts, all the negative forms, which is like filling up your primus, your primus, yes, your primus with diesel fears. I'm gonna need that beer. I'm, 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 I'm. Let's talk about symptoms of insecurity. Neediness, envy, wanting validation from external sources and trying to control others, guys. Being afraid to speak the mind and stand up for oneself and being a critic in any regard, complaining all the time, seeking attention. Letting others walk all over you. Guys, we all done it at some point of our lives. Some of us got smarter a whole lot sooner than others did. Others are still struggling with those problems, guys. Learn to let go of all those things that no longer serve you. Cry out for the help of the universe. The universe got your back. Trust the universe, your God, your creator. Believe everything that the universe is saying and shut out everything else that is against what God is saying about you. Focus your attention to the universe. Guys, it's also thinking that you don't deserve good things. And then you're blocking your energy by putting your focus on what you see as flaws. It's you defeating everything about your divine self that the creator created you to be. Focusing on what's wrong rather than loving and appreciating what's right. Guys, we show up to the mirror expecting to find something wrong. Every time we walk up to the mirror, we're not looking for, oh, wow, look at that, that beautiful person in that mirror. Look at that amazing and exciting, that flawless person. We're waking, like, looking for something, looking for a, a, a pimple, looking for a, a flaw, looking for your eyes to be puffy, looking for your hair to be ugly. We always looking for something. We ride. You're gonna get what you're looking for. If you arrive in that mirror looking for something ugly, something negative, something that is keeping you in your lower feelings, guys, you're gonna get exactly what you're looking for because we create everything with our thoughts. And guys, we show up in that mirror expect to find something wrong. Guys, we're going to be very disappointed. It's really just an old way of thinking. It's our way of thinking. It's our way of always expressing ourselves because that's the way that we were programmed by our ego. And all the people the ego sent around us do all those negative things that we, and we just begin to believe everything that everybody programmed us to believe. An old program running in the background like an apple that's in your smartphone, that's draining your battery and all those negative things is in us and it's draining our energy. And we don't have to use those apps in our phones that drains our batteries out of our smartphones, do we, Purpose Joe? And the funny thing, guys, is the more we love and support our bodies and feed it empowering grateful thoughts guys and the more that we can shine 
I don't know if he's sharing and guessing right now because his son keeps coming in and out. Don't worry about that. Just keep hearing. The audio has got to be great. The audio has got to be great. If though, if you cannot see the picture because the clouds keep coming in and out. But guys, the more we shine, the more we radiate our beauty from the inside out. God, there is something on the inside of us that we cannot yet even get our hands on to imagine. That is our greater, higher self. That is the power within us. That is your gut intuition. That gut intuition that is in tune with your higher, greater, conscious state of being. I'm going to leave that there on the table as well. When you start to shift your thoughts about how you think of yourself, and then the world around you. I experienced it already. I'm talking now. The world around you responds. And you'll start getting validation from the outside world, reflecting the changes that you made within. Change you. I did a video. Change you. Change it. If you don't like it, change it. You have the power where within you, within you, go on the inside. And you have the power to reverse all the negative thoughts, to reprogram your negative thinking. To reprogram that brain that done fry you over all these years and telling you that you ain't no good and you're not beautiful. Leave that on the table too, guys. And guys, you'll realize that the world is a, re is a mirror. Yes, I said that. The world is a, re it's a mirror reflecting back your energy. You are energy. I am energy. Everything out here in this earth, the gravel, the dirt, the ground, the leaves, the rocks, the trees, the animals, the birds. We all energy. energy. We are all energy. Energy. So, guys. Ego versus infinite self. And let me speed this up because I got a lot to go. The ego is a false sense of itself. It can never be fully satisfied. We know that. It's perfectionist. It can be hurt or damaged by words of others, and it can be incredibly sensitive and fragile. That's your ego. And the infinite self, the animation or spirit that drives the body like a race car through this life experience, knows none of that. Why you got to connect with your infinite self, your higher, greater conscious state of being. You are not your thoughts, and you are not what the ego says that you are. You got to connect the infinite self, the animation of the spirit that drives the body like a race car through this life. Knows. None of the things that your ego knows. So when the ego tries to have control and take our focus away from the truth or from the infinite self, then we start seeing these insecurities start piling up within us. You know what I'm saying? We start doing, having stumbling blocks and all these things where it's causing us to trip up. It's like that child who pouts. And that little child that cries to get attention. But guys, guess what? We adults do it too. We, when we can't get our way, we cry, we pout. We can get really ugly. It feels entitled. And it feels like it deserves to have whatever it wants. And to get whatever I want, I'm going to throw down the ugliest performance that I possibly can. Because somebody's going to stop and pay attention to me. Get over it. Get over that. It's not about you. It's about who the creator of God has created for you to be. Your greater and higher self with your power that he has put in you to dominate all the negative things and the negative shows and all this crazy stuff. Get over it. We become aware of the two versions of ourselves at any point when things get into that place where we want to put on a show. And those two versions of ourselves is the ego and the infinite self. 
And when we get to know that part about of those two verses, then we can start to acknowledge and surrender ourselves. We have choices either to the infinite self or we can continue surrendering ourselves to our ego. I will tell you right now, your best choice and the only way that you're going to live your greater and higher self is surrender yourself to your infinite self. The one that has a foundation that cannot be shaken by anyone, anything, or any negative things that the, that the creator of your ego is programming you with. I say the creator of your ego. My creator is not the ego. My creator is the divine, higher, infinite intelligence, my God of the universe. The infinite self is your higher self, people, and not just your program self. Create it from your ego. And you're probably saying, Destiny, I don't know if I ever heard of all of this. Like I said, you got to study, you got to read, you got to get out there and dig for information. You can't just stop at one station. You got to go to every station around the world till you get what the creator wants you to get. And the more that he sees you plowing for more knowledge and the more hungry, he said, if you're hungry and thirst for righteousness, he said, I will fill you. He said, you get wisdom, you get knowledge, and with all that I'm getting, he said, I'm going to give you the understanding. But you got you to gotta show that hunger. You got to show up that I'm not giving in. I'm not believing all everything that I'm being told until I know the agreement is within my gut intuition that the divine creator is pouring out light and love and peace where I can live in with the information that now I'm receiving. I'm about through. The infinite self is your higher self and not just your program self created from your ego. <sighs> your infinite self doesn't need any outside validation I said your infinite self doesn't need any outside validation or approval knowing everything can be generated from within so when we are operating from the present moment then we are embracing our infinite self. We allow it to dance in that presence. And the ego doesn't understand from a limited perspective of past experience where the infinite self has access to everything. And guys, the more we can surrender our ego and walk through life as the infinite self, and knowing that's who we truly are, and then the more that we're gonna fall into peace, light, and into love. And then that will be the more that we will experience. <clears throat> Excuse Destiny. And as the infinite self becomes more present in our lives, then guys, then all these insecurities that you have been experiencing, it starts to melt away like snow in the spring of sunshine. And then you can look at the insecurities as just piled up old snow, blocking our flow of energy. And the present moment is that sunshine that melts it all away. Allowing then, guys, the river to flow naturally again in our lives. The infinite self is what remained when the snow had disappeared. When we learned to resist and let go of that ego traps and all its programming. And learn to stop allowing the ego to have the power and control. So what to do when you feel insecure? And this is the last part of this and then I'm gonna be out, out and done. So let's finish this up. Guys, what do you need to do when you feel insecure? I'm gonna tell you. What to do when you feel insecure? And I'm gonna tell you we all gonna 
feel that way and some are still experiencing those insecurities or feeling those insecurities, but they will show up, but we don't have to answer to them. They will show up, but we don't have to address them. They will show up, but we don't have to acknowledge them. All these insecurities are going to show up and it's going to say all kinds of things, but we don't have to, have to believe all those things. You have gained your power by putting your ego in its place. So guys, first of all, let me tell you what you need to do. When you look in that mirror, you see those old thoughts that don't serve you anymore come up, then God, you wrap your arms around yourself and you say out loud, I love me. And say it again, I love me. Then you see the child, that little child, that is you. That is within you as you're standing looking in that mirror and that little child piercing his eyes up at you. That's your inner child. You see that child that is scared, that child that is fearful, that child that is hurt with all the insecure thoughts of the shame and the guilt and the sadness that you suppressed that child under and down in daily since you were a child. Excuse me, people. I'm so sorry. Guys, that fearful little child is you. That is your inner child. That's your inner self. That knowingly stepped into the world of fear. That child knowingly stepped into the world of confusion, comparison, hate, manipulation, fears, anxiety, not believing they are worthy, they have a low self-esteem, they've been manipulated, they've been abused, many have been raped, fondled with, all kinds of things. That little child hid itself within you. Afraid of rejection, afraid of love. That child hid itself manipulation so they could be who you are today. That child went through all of that, took all of that on itself. So you can become who you are today. And when you don't stand up to be your greater and better and your higher best self, and you continue to play out these negative things, these negative feelings, all these insecurities, all these fears and these hurts, and you continue to allow these things to dominate control you, then you're doing that child injustice. That child took all that on itself so you can stand up in your greater power and begin to fight for who you are, who the Creator says who you are. So you begin to fight for that child so y'all can bring yourself back to that place of peace and love so y'all can make that connection with one another so you can become to know who your inner child is. Guys, I'm telling you to love that child. Tell that child, your him or her, that everything is okay. And that you're here to protect that. To protect that child now. That that child that you're not leaving you, you're not going nowhere, you're going to be there, you're going to fight for that child, you're going to war with that child, you're going to stand up with that child. And no longer will you abuse that child. With all those negative thoughts, with all those negative phrases and negative <laughs> vibes and, and all that stuff, you're no longer going to allow all those things to abuse that child anymore. You're going to have to stand up. You are the adult now. You are the adult parent of your inner child. you got to start acting like an adult. Grow up. You're not going to abuse it with your negative thoughts or being ashamed. You might need to do mirror therapy, guys, and that is an awesome way to face your reality, face yourself, face your inner child, and start allowing your inner child to be healed. Mirror therapy, as some call it, it can so be very effective. And what is mirror therapy, guys? I'm telling you, looking at the man 
or the woman that's in the mural. I'm looking at the man in the mural. Look at that person in the mural. Don't close your eyes. Don't bat your eyes. Don't turn away. Look into that mirror at that man or woman in the mural. And sometimes if you look at yourself long enough, yes, yes, you will get teary-eyed. You will start breaking down. You will become emotional because reality now is dealing with you. Now it's time for you to start facing that reality. It's time for you to start pulling back those walls of, of fear and anxiety and all those insecurities. And when you get teared up seeing the person looking back at you who's trying their best to connect you with your inner child, with your higher, greater self, trying their best to love you, trying their best to accept you, trying their best to appreciate you. Good morning. It's a beautiful day. Yes. Beautiful souls. I still sound like I was beautiful animals. Two animals meeting, you know what I'm saying? Just like that mirror, you're facing that inner child. You're standing in that mirror. Trying their best, that inner child is standing right there looking at you, piercing. Trying his best to accept you guys. You gotta accept your back. That inner child is yet trying to get that attention and that love that you never gave it. That that tension love that you never turn to start returning that love. Start returning that, that acceptance. Start returning it. Start addressing and acknowledging and welcoming that child. But instead, all the inner child received from you was constantly, it kept getting abused, it kept getting neglected, it kept getting no love, it kept getting no peace, it kept getting walked over. You showed it no attention, you gave it nothing but blame, shame, hurt, and abuse. And you just kept walking away from it and you hid yourself on the opposite side away from your inner child and you ran like hell for years. Do some mirror therapy, get into the mirror. Your presence is everything, that's what people around you feel. And that is your magnet. I'm going to say that again. Your presence is everything. That's what people around you feel. It's your magnet. If you are in a victim mode, or you think that you're ugly, or you think that you're fat, or whatever that you're thinking negative about yourself, or you're are you <laughs> flawless, or you're full of flaws, or whatever, I don't know, whatever you're thinking then you'll get that. Whatever that you're thinking about yourself, you're creating that. You'll get that validated from the outside. You'll get that validated and acknowledged from the outside world in response to what you are projecting from within yourself. And then you will find more reasons and you will find more excuses and you will find more and more of what that you are creating negatively. You will find more of that to keep on continuing to hold on to and con continue to project. And you will find more evidence to think that is the way to live your life. That is the way of yourself. That is the way of who you are. And if you have love, guys, if you have true love, the love of your higher, greater, constant self, that love that comes from your heart chakra, that's where the pure love of, of the creator, that unconditional love is, lives. You got to get to that place. If you have that type of love and that type of appreciation and joy for who you are in every aspect of your life and for every part of your life that you see,